Today on Atomic Answers, let's solve a pretty advanced limiting reactant stoichiometry problem. In fact, it's the next to most advanced stoichiometry problem that we're going to work on this channel, at least in this current playlist. How many grams of water can be made if I have 35 grams of hydrochloric acid and 17 grams of magnesium hydroxide. So I give you a balanced chemical equation. I tell you how much reactant we have in grams, and we need to convert gram of reactant to gram of product, but we need to consider which one the limiting reactant is because you can only make as much product as you have of your limiting reactant. So let's get started. Step one, ensure both reactants are in moles and they're not, they're in grams. So we need to take the 35 grams of hydrochloric acid and very quickly convert that to moles. So I will uh, put a card up here right now and show you the video to convert grams to moles. So by definition, one mole of hydrochloric acid is equal to what it weighs in grams on the periodic table. I'm going to round it a little bit That'll be about 36 grams of HCl. So grams of HCl are canceled. Now we're in terms of moles. So 35 times one multiplied by the numerator across is 35. 35 divided by 36 on the bottom. That's going to give us 0.972 moles of HCl. All right, now let's go ahead and do the exact same thing for these 17 grams of magnesium hydroxide. So 17 grams of MgOH2. And again, let's go ahead and convert that. So one mole of the magnesium hydroxide is going to be equal to whatever it uh, weighs in grams on the periodic table. So let's find out what magnesium hydroxide weighs uh, very quickly. And its molar mass on the periodic table is 58.3. 58.3. So 58.3 grams of it cancels out. Now we're in terms of moles. And that's going to give us 17 divided by 58.3. And that is 0.292.2. Well, I wrote that wrong, 0.292 moles. All right, so I'm just going to write that up here. Um, so we've got 0.972 moles of HCl, so 0.972 moles. And we've got 0.292 moles of your magnesium hydroxide. All right, so that was just step one. Step two is to pick a reactant, and step three, compare it to the other reactant using this mole uh, chosen reactant to mole of the other reactant template here, and that is going to give us the amount of the reactant that we need. So pick, compare to the other, and that's what we need. So it doesn't matter if you want to choose HCl or MgOH to start. I'm just going to choose the HCl because it's first. So uh, we got 0.97 two moles of HCl. We're going to compare that to the other reactant. So mole of HCl goes on the bottom and mole of the other reactant MgOH2 will go on the top. Now when you have a mole over mole step, that number uh, that goes here is going to come from the coefficients in your balanced chemical equation. So we have two moles of HCl and we've got one mole of MgOH2. And moles of HCl cancel. That's going to give us uh, the reactant now in terms of magnesium hydroxide. So 0.972 times 1 is 0.972 divided by 2. That means we need 0.486 moles of MgOH2. That is what we need, and the tablet tells us we need to compare that to what the problem actually says 
that we have. So we need 0.486 moles of MgOH2. My goodness, we have about half of that. We only have, let me write that down, we only have 0.292 moles. So think about it. You're in the store, and it'd be a miracle if you had a bill of 48 cents, but say your bill is uh, 48 cents, 0.486 uh, but you only have 29 cents or 0.292 in your pocket. You you can't pay the bill. You, you don't have enough of it. You need 0.4. You have 0.2. Magnesium hydroxide is your limiting reactant. That makes your hydrochloric acid automatically the one in excess. And so you can only make as much product as you have of the limiting reactant. And so we're going to start now with the actual limiting reactant part of this. We uh, can only make as much against as magnesium, uh, or it says uh, water. We can only make as much water as we have of our limiting reactant, which is MgOH2. So we've got 0.292 moles of the limiting reactant, MgOH2, the magnesium hydroxide. And what we have to do is go from moles of magnesium hydroxide to moles of water because you can only go from one compound in the chemical equation to another via a mole to mole step because balanced chemical equations are written in terms of a mole to mole ratio so uh, we have mgoh2 that cancels out and we're going to do mole of what we need water here when you have that mole over mole step that comes from again the balanced chemical equation. So we have two moles of water for every one mole of MgOH2. So it's a good thing, you know, now we're in terms of uh, water, but we're in terms of moles of water currently. And the problem says it wants grams of water. So very quickly, uh, and again, I'll put a, a card up here showing you how to do the opposite. That is, go from mole to grams. But essentially, by definition, one mole of any element or compound is equal to whatever it weighs in grams on the periodic table. That's about 18 if you add up your, your molar masses. And so we're done uh, as far as setting up the problem goes. Now all we have to do is just multiply straight across. So multiply the numerator across, 0.292 times 2 times 18. That gives us um, 10.512. We'll apply the denominator straight across, which is just one. So that means we can make 10.512 grams of water from uh, 17 grams of magnesium hydroxide. And it's based off of that because it was found to be the limiting reactant. And you have been found to be watching Atomic Answers. So subscribe. No, seriously, do it right now. Goodbye now.